Hello students, myself Sagar Chopsi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in previous session, we have started a new concept that related to classification of commercial vehicle body in which we have completed two main classification. First one that related to flat type body and second one that uh, related to deeper body. Right. And we have already done the difference between uh, flat type body and uh, deeper body. Right. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about new concept that related to floor height and engine location. Right. So in today's session, we are going to discuss about three topics. First one that is the floor height. Second one that is the engine location. And third one that is commercial vehicle seat mounting and adjustment. Right. So let's start the lecture, lecture number 19 that related to floor height and engine location. So the first one that is the floor height. So here I have attached one image that related to your bus body. So here I have attached the main body or you can take main monococcus chases. Right. In, uh, normally in bus body we can use monococcus chases. So now the question is from where the floor height we can consider. Right. So here first and important one that is the floor should be placed as low as possible. In this particular first point as you as I have mentioned the floor should be placed as low as possible so that the distance of center of gravity of bus from road surface is very small. Right. This is what the first and important concept that related to your vehicle performance. Here I have mentioned center of gravity right, that improves the vehicle performance. Second one that is the stability of bus gets increased as you can see in image if your floor height is considered as considered a distance of center of gravity of bus from road, uh, road surface is very small then uh, the stability of bus gets increase and ultimately your vehicle performance can be increased. So now the question is the third one that is it gives easy entry to bus and it is easy to place luggage in bus. So in this particular third point now we can uh, we can have this particular image that uh, related to monococcus chase right. So if we develop our uh, bus then uh, we need to consider a specific area that related to driving uh, the driver seat area that related to passenger seat area that so the fourth one and important one that is due to the lower uh, height as you can uh, see in image due to the lower height the bus design is more complicated in separate chases and body construction right so what is our target our target is to develop such a design that improve the vehicle performance so due to the lower height so as uh, in image you can find out the monococcus chases the bus design is more complicated in separate chases and bus or, or you can take body construction that related to considering a floor level the changes frame are made specially safe right according to application we can use any of the uh, section any of the shape right so according to application we can use now sixth one that is if an integral body is used low floor level becomes much easier to design so what is our target right if an integral as per the ergonomics right as per the ergonomics concern right we can use we can develop we can construct the chases we can construct the monococcus chases right it uh, generally related to specific area that related to uh, passenger area that related to driving area that related to luggage area right so this is what the integral body so seventh one that is larger number of passenger can be seated in the bus right so if we construct a design in such a way that to increase the or you can take to increase the passenger capacity right so according to application we can use we can construct the uh, sitting area of passenger right so this is what the floor height right so move forward to next slide so next one that is the engine location so here i have attached uh, five different tables so that you can directly understand the engine location Right. So, first of all, what is engine location? So, it is the combination of two words, first of all, engine and location, from where we can implement that particular engine. Right. So, here I have attached five different tables that related to engine location. So, the first one that is engine behind uh, front axle. Right. As uh, in bus, there are two main axle, front axle and rear axle. So, the first one that related to engine behind front axle. 
right second one that is engine above front axle third one that is engine in front of front axle right this is very important criteria fourth one that is, that is the engine at rear axle right and last one that is under floor engine so in this way we can locate or you can take we can specify we can develop we can generate right engine location the next one that is the entrance and exit location so as uh, we can see in previous uh, slide in monocoque chassis there are mainly two door uh, available for one door that that is for entrance and one do door that is for exit so there are mainly in this particular uh, slide we can have different types of commercial vehicle in which we can uh, see different types of entrance and exit location so in this particular uh, first point generally in all types of bus right in all types of bus there are back side and uh, front side door right but in back side door is for entrance right as we all know there are two types of entrance front side and rear side but in back side the back side door there is an entrance right second one that is front side door is for exit as we all know right as a minibus as you can take minibus as you can uh, take this uh, semi minibus right so in uh, front door you can find out the an exit portion and in rear door you can find out the entrance portion move forward to third one third one that related to in this particular uh, third point i have attached the city bus in city bus back and front door are as usual but one main door one uh, extra door are available but in middle door is for easy exit for no more number of passenger at a time so this is what the city bus criteria so move forward to fourth one in city bus the door width is more right so move forward to next slide so next one that is the sub urban bus so in sub urban bus the entrance is at the middle and exit is at the front right in sub urban bus there are uh, one different point the different point is for entrance purpose entrance is at the middle for portion and exit is the front right so this is what the sub urban bus sixth one in long distance bus the back door is for entrance and and front door is for exit so this is what the long distance bus and last one that is in lo long distance bus the door size width of the door is less so this next one that is that is the advantages of different engine location so if you find out there are five five different types of engine location if you find out the front axle if you find out the rear axle there are various types of engine location in previous slide a slide we have taken five different types of engine location so now we we can have the advantage of different engine locations first one that is to improve visibility forward and side visibility ultimately what is our target our target is fix to reduce the accident right so if you improve the visibility then ultimately you can improve your ergonomics effort right so to improve visibility forward and side visibility second one that is reducing extra placing space in engine this is very important third one that is it improves space for a uh, passenger in bus ultimately we all know about ergonomics right so as per the ergonomics we can generate or you can take we can set that particular passenger area or you can take driver sitting area right so this is what the advantage of different engine location so move forward to next slide so next one that is the bus body layout right ultimately what is bus body layout the main structure of bus body right that is called bus body layout here uh, you can find out the top portion you can find out the steering you can find out the uh, driver sitting area passenger sitting area front axle rear axle four wheeler right there are uh, many uh, other name like cant rail that related to top portion uh, center portion that related to waist rail and bottom portion that related to side rail creep rail and skirt rail right so this is what the bus body layout concept that is seat design for commercial vehicle so now we can consider there are two different seat design first that related to passenger seat design and second one that related to driver seat design right in uh, commercial vehicle there are uh, different application we have studied uh, sub urban bus there are truck there are uh, mini bus right so according to application we can construct we can generate or we can develop that particular seat design for you can take either you can take driving 
driver seat comfort or you can take uh, passenger seat comfort right so now uh, let's uh, talk on that first one that is in chases or normal control vehicle the driver and crew are placed behind the engine this is very important in chases or normal control vehicle the drivers and crew are placed behind the engine second one that is in forward control vehicle driver and crew sit beside the engine third one that is another alternative in forward control vehicle is for driver to sit above engine this allow for cab or you can take three to four persons are available last one that is if engine is under the floor right we have taken uh, engine location there are five different types of engine location which uh, which are available so in last one if engine is under the floor the result is spacious cab with sources of noise and heat eliminated so this is what this is to design for commercial Vehicle. Similarly, there are four different points you can consider, right? So this is what is seat design for commercial vehicle. So thank you, thank you so much. In this particular session, we have completed floor height and engine location. So in next session, we will discuss about normal control and formal control design, right? So thank you, thank you so much.